Ah, man, le miro. Um, okay. Right. Right there. Is it good? Good? Okay. Hi. <laughs> if it's the first time and you're new here or you're coming back again, as you all know me, my name is Josius and I'm a preacher and author here at Josco TV. You're most welcome to my YouTube channel. Please show love, share, and do what is necessary to help other people to receive the word. Today, we'll be talking about who is God to you, to me, and how to know God personally. John 3 16 which is the common verse says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that so ever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life God loves you and me as much so much that the fact he had to send his only begotten son to die for us to die on the cross you may ask why the Bible says we are sinners and the Bible again says the consequences of sin is death internal separation from God. There's nothing we can do to make us good enough for heaven. But God made a way, a perfect way. By Christ lived a perfect life, blameless life, and provided a perfect sacrifice for our sins. He died in our place. It is only by God's grace, His underserved mercy, that we can have eternal life with Him in heaven. All we have to do is such a simple thing, a very small thing, is to have faith, to believe in Christ, died for us, and ask Him to forgive us our sins and watch us as what us know. I know you would like to know and want to know and to hear the insurance you have to go to heaven. I for them. Step one, God loves you and has a plan for you. The Bible says in John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that so ever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You shall not perish, you have eternal life in heaven. John 10, 10, I came, Jesus speaking, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly, a complete life full of purpose. But, Though we have the two insurance, we shall have life, purpose. But God said, people are sin and separation from God. Step two, what is this? We have done and said and do bad things which the Bible calls sin. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned have gone short of the glory of God. Right. The result of sin is death, separation from God. What is this? That's bad. Romans 6 23 but it's a good news God sent his son to die for our sins for you and my sins what a good news okay what is this Jesus died in our place that we could have a relationship with God and be with him forever Romans 5 8 God demonstrated his love toward us in that way we were yet sinners Christ died for us but it didn't end with his death on the cross. He rose again and still live. Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day according to the scripture. 1 Corinthians 15 3, 4 would say that. Jesus is the only way to God through Jesus Christ. Jesus says in John 14 16, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by through me. Step four, which is the conclusion, would you like to receive God's forgiveness? We can't earn salvation. We are saved by God's grace. When we have faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, all you have to do is believe you are a sinner, that Christ died for your sins, and ask Him for forgiveness. Then turn away from your sin that called repentance. Jesus Christ knows you and loves you. What matters to him is the attitude of your heart, your honesty. 
we suggest praying the following prayer as we serve the cross. What I want to tell you, Jesus doesn't care. He doesn't care. That God doesn't care about your religion. God doesn't really care about your religion. He doesn't care about whether you go to church. He doesn't care whether you pray seven times a day. He doesn't care if you do what. He doesn't care. God, what I always say is God doesn't care about your religion, but he cares about relationship. God is not looking for your religion. It's you looking for your relationship. The Bible says, as you read again, as I spoke before, God, He came that we can have a relationship with Him, that you can have a humility with Him. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for a relationship, not a religion. God is looking to, is looking, the, the, verse, the Bible says, the Bible says that God is a God who came for a relationship. He came to look for a relationship with us. He came to command again that relationship which was separated long time ago. He came to build it again by dying on the cross. So, I know you might be living a life which is totally out of God. But it's okay. It's, it's totally okay. Because the Bible says we are sinners. We are all sinners. And since it's one thing. It's it's one thing, like, it's one thing, whether you've seen this and this and this, in God's eyes, it's one. So, here I want to tell, encourage you today, if it's your first time, and you really want to know God, if you decide to be like, Joseph, today I've understand God, he died for me. Even though I was yet a sinner, he came on this planet earth to come here, just to rescue me to take my place the bible said the the consequences or the result of the fruit of sin is death but jesus came who was blameless who was living a perfect life he came here all to be called a sinner to be called a murderer to be called a liar to be called a nobody to be called any kind of word just so that me and you we could be saved Jesus is the only way to heaven is the only way to your situation is the only way to your current moment is the only way Jesus is the only way so if you decide today to pray this prayer with me, please, I would like to invite you, if it's your first time, you want to build your relationship with God. Or if you, have, you build a relationship with God, but your life is not stable, is not again, you, you want again God to heal you. You want again to build that relationship with God. Your life has been living under religion, not relation. I want you to pray this prayer. As we all bow down, wherever you are, in the world, everywhere you are, I want you just to raise up your hand, your right hand, and put your left hand right on your chest. Or you can do both hands right there on your chest. Wherever you are, totally wherever you are, I want you to humble yourself and pray this prayer with me. Father Lord Jesus, I humble myself before your throne. Lord, I believe that I've been living a life of religion or I've been living the life out of your ways. Father, please help me to know you. Father God, from today on, I, I believe and that faith that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you are my Lord and personal Lord Savior. If you know Jesus, I, want you I believe that you are my personal Lord and Savior. You know I believe that you came on earth to die for me. I believe that you are the God who was and who is and who will always be. 
I believe in the God, the creator of the universe. Father, redeem me, Lord. Have mercy before me. Before me. I humble myself before your throne of grace. Forgive me for all my trespasses and wash me white as a snow. Allow, accept my presence before you, Lord, and let my prayer not be a noisy into your ears. In Jesus' name, I believe. Again, for this wonderful prayer time, I do appreciate you guys. I love you so much.